back to our channel this is Tama stitches so yesterday the last video I started welcome back to our channels if you're joining us for the first time please like subscribe and press the notification bell to always get all our videos once we upload so today I'm gonna to be drafting a, a basic body pattern the other time we did it with the pattern paper today i want to draft it on a material and then i'm going to be putting some other styles on the it's not going to be just straight basic uh, uh, a simple blouse but have some effects on it i'm going to have some the front a high and low front sort of so let's get started so to fold you have to fold your material into two okay fold it and uh, use the biggest part of your body which is the hip use your hip divide by four plus allowance so i'll be using a 13 or i'll use 14. i really want it not too fitted but very okay for the body, for the person so let's get started first of all I'll start by getting our full length okay now i would like to use 26 so i'm using 26 26 i'm marking at the back of my material so it doesn't stay in the front so this is my 26 So next, I'll be getting my shoulder. The shoulder I'm using is 8 inches, that's 16 divided by 2 is 8, plus half inch sewing allowance, making it 8 and a half. Now I get my armhole. My armhole, I'm using 9, and I remove 1 inch for shoulder slant. Insert my Bust point ten and a half. Half length is seventeen. Then the hip is eight to nine inches. So I'm using twenty-five. I'm using twenty-five, which is quite close to the full length. So we we'll insert the hip at the full length level here. Can you see what I'm marking? So let me insert my neckline. I'll be using three inches. Then the neck depth for back will be one inch. Then that of front will be three and a half inches. Can you see? So I use my core ruler. Rub it out. No, it's a white material, so I'll be showing very well. Okay, so let's connect our shoulder slant from the neck, neck, uh, neckline. Connect it to the shoulder slant. Okay, I've done here already. You can see the mark I'm using is not that straight. Then bring down our armhole length. Okay. Now let's insert our bust measurement. Our chest, our armhole. We normally insert our our bust measurement from the armhole. So I'll be inserting here ten and a half. I will insert the same ten and a half here. To the proper chest line or you can just insert it in one of the places and take it up so now let's so i'll pull my armhole curve 
this sash for the back then to to get the armhole cut for the front you have to minus half inch or one under or one inch i'm using half inch here so i now join it So let's insert our horizontal measurement. We've done the bust. The waist now I'm using here is nine inches, but I'll be adding one inch to it so that it's not be that fitted. Then come to the hip. The hip is 46 divided by two, divided by four, plus sewing allowance. So I'll be using a total of 12 and a half here. So we'll join our you can use a free hand like this or you can use a ruler. So I'm adding my sewing sewing allowance, which is one inch all wrong. Let me cut it off. Don't forget to curve the down part so that it doesn't go out straight out. So I use the back armhole to cut, not the front. So after cut, because I'm going to use this same material, this same front pattern to cut the back. So even at the neck, I'm going to cut the back neckline and leave the front until I cut the back first. So don't forget to add half inch or quarter inch by the shoulder for joining. So now I've placed the front on the back bodies. So, but like I said, I would like to put a little tail down. So I left, uh, I left about nine and a half inches down here before placing my my front pattern on it. So I have nine and a half here. Then don't forget I have my zip allowance also. I have my zip allowance. So now what I need to do now is to connect this point to this point in a curving manner. So I can go like this for now. Like this. And then connect it like this. Or I can as well use my free hand. It must start from that waistline here, from the from the full length of the front. That's where it should curve out to the zip allowance side. If I cut it now, you see what I mean. You see the same cutting, just that the back will have a longer, will have like a tail compared to the front. So let me cut it. So if I look at it now, this is his back. This is the front, same neckline. I'm going to cut down the front neckline once I'm done with this. You can see, I use this, I use the back armhole to cut the armhole. I didn't use the front. So when I'm done, I have to recut the front armhole. So this is what I'm referring to. You can see how curvy down 
the back is but starting from where the front stopped and I curved it out so this is the front this is the back Okay, so here is the back. You can see the tail end here. How beautiful it looks. So, but I would like to put a yoke at the back, just the back. Now, after cutting it, what I want to do is to minus 10 inch from the from the neckline, as in from the shoulder, I'll measure out 10 inch all round. This is my 10 inch now, so I'm going to cut it off. Then I will use it to cut a yoke for this, my blouse, tailed blouse. I'll call it top. So now this is the body. This is the yoke. I'm going to use another material for the yoke. So all I need to do now is to place this back. On this material, I want a plain material for it, and I'll use the plain material still for the front for the sleeve. Good. So now I take this. This is what I need. Place it here. Now, before I cut this yoke, I'll add joining allowance here that I'll use to join the other part. So I'll be adding one inch. You can add half inch or one inch, so I prefer to add one inch. Use it to join it. This is the only place I'm, I'm adding allowance. I'm not adding to the body itself. So I can now cut it off. So I've cut off the yoke. Here is the yoke. So join it to the body, stitch it together. Either you do a facing or a full lining. Now here is it. So here is my back. And here is my front. I see my front. So I'll just recut the neck like I said. So I'll cut the neck now. So you see how beautiful it looks. I'll take it to the machine and sew it out. If this has been helpful, please like, subscribe, and always press the notification bell to get all our videos. Okay.